call me Nunzo or you can call me Nani whatever you want to call me welcome back to my channel um, before we even get started please give this video a big like subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification you guys know the drill and be sure to share this video with everyone you know so this video will be about my first term at NYCPM so if you guys don't know already, I'm a January student, which means at NYCPM there are January students and there are September students. But essentially we are all part of the same class. So we're all part of class of 2023. But January students will be there for four and a half years, whereas the September students are there for four years. We just started school like nine months earlier than everybody else. So we're taking approximately three classes before the rest of the class comes in to ease up the workload just a little bit. Some people just didn't want to take a gap year or a full gap year, so they start in January, or maybe they have another reason as to why they joined the program, but that was my main reason. I didn't want to wait too long. I was just kind of sitting at home and why not just start school? I'm a January student um, and I just had my first term at NYCPM. We took anatomy, which is a hefty class, seven credits, and I took bacteriology. It was interesting because I was really getting to know myself and what study habits, what kind of study habits I'm like used to or what I, I was gonna switch to. Like, it was a lot. So at the very beginning, all I had was my iPad that the school gave me and I bought an Apple Pencil, didn't even have a laptop yet. I had like my really old laptop and it wasn't working. So really all I used for like the first couple weeks of the term was just the iPad that they gave me and an Apple Pencil. And it's totally doable to probably do most of the semester with just, just those two things. I would go to class and I would use my Apple Pencil to write on the slides and everything. I would listen. From time to time, sometimes I would get kind of drowsy, my mind would wander, I would get distracted, whatever. Um, but essentially, I still like paid attention. And I would go home and I would listen to lecture. At the very beginning, we would have like four hours of um, anatomy or like two hours of anatomy and two hours of bacteriology and then lab for four hours like on Tuesday or that was like a typical day. Well, lab wasn't always there. That was only on Tuesday. But typically it would be two hours of anatomy, two hours of back tea. Back tea short for bacteriology. So for anatomy, you know, I would listen and stuff. I would go home. I would listen to the lectures again. Repeat. That's literally what I did for most of the semester. And, you know, it came time. I call it the anatomy trilogy because you'll have a quiz. You'll have... You'll have two quizzes. You'll have um, an exam and you'll have a practical. So there's one week that you have a quiz, exam, and practical all in one. So I call it the anatomy trilogy or the anatomy series. I did fine. Like for the first like exam that we took, that was the back and the thorax. I did fine, but not fine enough. Like I, I thought I could do better than that. So I'm just like, oh, like I'm going to try my best to do well in GI and the pelvic region. <clears throat> it was my definition of an L. And what was different was because I was trying to change my study habits. When you enter whatever professional school that you're gonna enter, you're gonna just hear a bunch of people who have a bunch of different ways of studying. Some people study by themselves, some people study with a group, some people study the slides, some people don't study the slides, some people write their notes, some people type their notes, and you just don't know what's gonna like work for you. And I was getting by, like it was fine, but after I started listening to other people, like writing my notes and typing my notes and stuff like that, it just went downhill. Like you really have to like find what works for you. I finally 
when I got to head and neck and upper extremity, which is, was supposed to be the hardest exam, um, it turned out to be the best exam, the best practical, and the best quiz for me. Um, I was very thankful for it because I, I couldn't afford another L. Um, so I did like very well for that unit and it's because I figured out what works for me. So basically what I did was going over the slides over and over and over. I made sure that I was well acquainted with the slides. Like someone could say, oh, was this on the slide? And I could literally tell them, oh yeah, it was definitely on the slide or it wasn't on the slide or I don't remember it being on the slide and stuff like that. And I was typically right. I, I went over those slides multiple times. And then on top of that, I did study individually for the beginning just to you know orient myself with the material and everything and after i was done that then what is a game changer is group studying period period <laughs> group studying changed my life <laughs> literally changed my life shout out to ariella kenny naya jasmine and any other student that i group studied with shout out to you guys because that like changed my life and I did great after that because when you're in, when you're group studying typically I think it's important to obviously review all of the information but it's also important to ask questions to each person to see if you really understand the information if you thought you understood the information you read the information and you think you got the information but someone is asking you a question about what does cranial nerve 5 do can you tell me all the muscles that are innervated by SVE that has an SVE fiber type can you tell me that if you can't even like say things like that then you don't know it you just don't you don't know that so that's why like group studying was like very important to me because after group studying you knew what you knew like you you know exactly what you know and what you don't know and I think that's the most important thing so basically in conclusion group studying going over the sides over and over and over again and yes you still have to study individually from time to time and obviously for me and in anatomy i specifically used net anatomy i also used um roman's atlas which is this book color atlas that had cadaver pictures in it that help you identify different things on the body that was also something that helped me too it was mainly those two things that helped me with anatomy i didn't even mention the last tip which was not listening to the lectures again that was a big one because i wasted my time listening to it a second time just focus the first time so you don't have to listen to the second time the only time that you should be listening the second time is if you were falling asleep if you were not paying attention if you were on your phone these were words from my anatomy professor and I'm so glad that I listened to her because it was true. If I'm being completely honest, I would listen to the lectures again and not even understood. I wouldn't even understand still after listening to it a second time. Like not even that the information was hard. It's just like I was just listening to it just to listen to it because I knew that I had to type of thing. And so that was a waste of time. Once I stopped doing that, my grades just like skyrocketed um so another part of this video was showing you just some of the supplies that i thought was important for this semester um that i definitely believe that you guys should get doesn't matter if you're going into medical school or not if you're going to graduate school nursing school pharmacy school optometry school any type of school it would help i think so first up ipad if you are going to NYCPM, you will be provided an iPad. And I know some people are asking like, oh, are you going to get the mini? Are you going to get a full? You're going to get the full sized iPad. And it's the 2018 model, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, so once you get the iPad, I think the two apps that you should get is Notability. Notability is like really nice. In my opinion I don't know if you guys can really like see it like that but you know I took my notes on there and everything it was great and I also did use one note as well um, one note is that purple 
looking app right next to notability i honestly think that you guys should get that as well OneNote is free notability is ten dollars but i had both and i really like both but if you're trying if you're on a budget just get one note one note is fine what else okay next up beats doesn't have to be beats noise canceling headphones i think because people talk people talk a lot and sometimes you just want to do your work you don't want to listen to what other people are saying um sometimes people will legit walk into wherever you are and they're just really really loud and they're not they don't really care that other people are like studying and noise canceling headphones, especially when listening to lectures and stuff like that, will definitely help you. Last but not least, MacBook. You can get a PC, whatever. Just make sure that you have a laptop. Just, you're gonna need it at one point or the other. You might get away with just using the iPad, but it's good and it's nice to at least have um, a computer. But I really think that the MacBook is like a really good one. This one is the MacBook Pro. Um, that's really all I use. Like either, and maybe like you can use colored pens and stuff like that if you're gonna write your notes or whatever. But I honestly, I wrote colorful notes. I literally wrote everything down, everything down, and I would type everything out, and it didn't help me. It literally didn't help me. I, I can sh I can show you guys one day the amount of notes that I wrote and it took me days to write it and I didn't even retain any of it. I didn't even look at it again after I was done writing it. So I was sitting hard but not effectively. Sitting effectively is only typing what you think is important. Don't type everything. Don't type everything. If anything, write what the teacher was saying on the slides and just keep going over the slides. That's what you're supposed to be like remembering anyway. Don't and don't type out everything that's on the slide because you're supposed to refer back to the slides for a reason. You're gonna see pictures on there that you have to like know. Especially if you're gonna have the same professor that I had, she will pull pictures from PowerPoints and you're gonna need to know like where it came from. You're not gonna remember that she put that picture in there if you didn't look at the slides enough. So it's important to orient yourself with the slides, like I said before. Um, but yeah, in conclusion, iPad, Apple Pencil, noise canceling headphones, and laptop. All of which are important to starting your first year in your professional school. So, any September students that are, are going to enter in a couple months, I'm excited to meet you guys. Hit me up on Instagram or if you guys join that um, Facebook group for our class. You can friend request me and send me any questions that you might have. I'm down to help any of you guys. So thank you guys for tuning into this video today. Stay tuned for my next video. This is so impromptu. I just like just talking to the camera. I didn't plan any of this. I just kind of went with the flow. <laughs> I'll try my best to um, record this upcoming summer term when I take it infectious diseases um, because I didn't do a good job of doing that for the January semester because I really just wanted to like find what study habit was gonna work for me. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe so you will be aware whenever I drop my next video. Thank you guys again for watching and signing off, Student Dr. Nani. <laughs> Bye, guys.